Yo, so how's it going my dudes and welcome back So today's video is gonna be a little shorter just because I'm so hyped Not for me, not for me, just for you, all of you guys Like, I'm so happy for you Like, a lot of you have been asking Oh, Tori, your Gravedigger is cool Oh, craft me Gravedigger, I want Gravedigger You're gonna get it Oh my god No, is this really happening? Is this, is this the timeline that we're in? Is this legit, my boy? Yeah, <laughs> boy Yeah, <laughs> boy yeah, boy. Spicy meat. Exactly. 33 hours from now, the Grave Digger is going to be in the store. So if we go to the event store at the moment and check the timer for me, it's 33 hours. So I'm pretty sure after that, the weapon is going to be in the event store. However, there is another weapon that's going to be in the store that's called Rat King. It's a weird weapon. It's nah, I'm not sure, man. But here's how it looks like. It looks awesome. So I'm really hyped to see what this weapon is. But I want your guys' help. The reason I'm making this video just because today I was planning to make a Grave Digger video for Legendary but i want your guys help do you want me to make video on the new one that comes out and level it up and show you how it is with the perks that you get on it or do you want me to make a video on the full legendary one that i have that's the reason i'm making this video just because i want your guys opinion keep in mind that the grave digger i have is bright core there might be another option where you can be hey tori why don't you make the new one full legendary sunbeam and compare them to each other and see what's best to go for that will be cool you know so it's up to you just let me know do you want to see my grave digger full legendary or would you like to see the new one when it comes out it's up to you man just let me know all right the second important thing i want to talk about oh boy we finally got a new mission it's basically look it's basically horde bash but it's a retrieve the data mission as you can see here i'm doing it at the moment so basically it's gonna keep closing in even though before you even start the mission even before you shoot down the balloon it's gonna keep closing in so if you go to the end of the map, you start, you're gonna start get hit by the storm, alright? So keep that in mind. The second thing I wanna say, the faster you drop down the balloon, like, I recommend you shoot down the balloon, so you get the maximum rewards. And that brings us to the next thing that I wanna talk about. On this mission, it's so amazing. Like, look. The fact that after you finish the mission, as you can see here, I finished the mission, I got the reward. And then, it's the same reward exactly. So basically, after you do the mission, you can keep doing it as many times as you can. I'm not sure yet if there is a timer on it. But what I see here, that the rewards stay there. Like, I did the mission, I got the reward, and the rewards stay there. Unlike any other storm mission. So that's really interesting. I'm, I really like that. <laughs> I really, I finally found something new to farm, you know? Something at least a little more interesting. So this mission is gonna stay for two weeks there is a quest line for it here's the quest as you can see if you complete it three times i'm gonna be getting 100 gold and of course the more you complete it the more stuff you're gonna be getting but it's gonna stay for two weeks as i said and it's gonna be removed in the patch 6.2 so hop into it and get as many rewards as you can my dude so this is it there's not much to say to be honest the last thing now i want to talk about that they uh, i'm gonna explain it how it works let's say i'm power 100 and i have a friend level 50 power 50 and i want to get him to power 100 mission in a public mission all right that's not gonna happen it's not gonna let him just because he's way too lower level for power 100 all right so what they did as long as you are in a private you can get your friends with you it doesn't matter private is like normal no problem but as long as you are in public so they don't want you to ruin other people's games just because you want to bring your friend low power friend with you so they be uh, there was like hey you can bring your friend but as long as you are doing it in private it's okay but in, in public you can't do that anymore that's it basically but keep in mind, i'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description so the reason i want wanted to make this video super quick because I'm hyped you guys got the Gravedigger, alright? And I wanted to ask you guys, do you want to see the full legendary Gravedigger? Or would you like to see the Gravedigger that comes out? Maybe they changed something about it that you want to see a video on. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you later on with another video. Take care. Have yourself a good day. Yeah, yeah.